So my grandfather had a very nice voice. He used to sing to his girlfriends and stuff like that, and he loved, he was like a bon vivant. But he was not famous for his singing. He was famous for his good quality, handmade leather shoes. Even the royal family would visit him for their hiking shoes. My grandfather died very young. He was only 54. And my father, who at the time was studying to be a film director, had to quit his studies and uh, take over the business. It was Greece after the war and uh, things uh, were not uh, looking bright. My father didn't know what to do. And then, all of a sudden, an angel walks uh, through the door of our workshop. It's uh, an English uh, lady, a choreographer, who places an order for six pair of uh, ancient Greek sandals. My father made uh, those uh, sandals for this uh, English lady, but uh, he loved the idea and uh, he made some extra sandals for the shop. The rest is history. The American girls who visited uh, their boyfriends who were stationed here in Greece as soldiers saw those sandals and they went crazy. They started buying them like uh, donuts, like hotcakes. The store uh, pretty soon became very famous. My father at the same time started writing poetry he would often offer his sandals and his poetry to the customers. So we became famous as the poet sandal maker, which I have uh, kept, you know, this title because I'm also a poet and a sandal maker and a painter and a musician. So today, uh, art and sandals in our shop are the one and the same. As a little kid at the same time, you know, uh, when uh, I would uh, help my father, in the shop, I would also listen to his conversations with other artists and philosophers and poets. So I was uh, immersed in this uh, art world and I couldn't escape, which I'm happy that I couldn't escape. When uh, the customers come in, I see them as actors. And I feel that I have to provide them with uh, the best footwear that, can, that they can have. You know, footwear sandals, that they're gonna make them feel like ancient Greek gods or uh, goddesses. Some people say that uh, my art reminds them of pop art, others say that it's surreal art, others say it's uh, colorist, uh, whatever. I don't know, I don't see it this way, I don't like uh, to classify myself. I just like to live and record my instincts, record my feelings, the impressions I get from this life. So this uh, erotic poem, it's called The Lovers. I wrote it when I was uh, 20 years old and uh, I rewrote it uh, recently and here it is. As ether flickers and chimes, its clock remodels the room, where shadows, lights and rhymes steam up with bliss and gloom. The lovers turn into flowers, red buds that sprang at dawn. The late night cheering hours departed singing a song. The sun rays color your hair, with tones of something unknown. My love, I'm walking on air, and cry, you are my own. As soon as night was gone, the lovers tended to flowers of love whose magic song did bring to a halt the hours. Our love just paced through infinity, our love committed a crime, and love just gave divinity to us who slaughtered time. The lovers tended to flowers, the lovers embraced the dawn, to lovers trick the hours with love's deceitful song. <laughs>